today we are going to discuss about the design of a shaft how to design a shaft basically a shaft is a rotating machine member which is used to transmit the power from one point to the another point it is mostly cylindrical in cross section and it support the revolving part of a machine such as pulley gear or a flywheel there are various types of shaft like the transmission shaft machine shaft prime mover shaft spindle or a axle and the commonly used material for the shaft is carbon steel of grade C25 30 C40 C45 C50 where this 25 30 40 is the percentage of carbon 0.25% 0.30% and the commonly used material for the shaft is your C35 the shaft are also made up of alloy steel that is nickel nickel chromium or chromium vanadium the material of the shaft is selected in such a way that it should have the sufficient strength it should have the low sensitivity to stress concentration good machinability and it should have low notch sensitivity factor Now the various types of load that will act on the shaft for the designing is that torsion load, bending load, axial load, or the combination of your torsional bending and axial load. By torsion load, we mean sigma equal to p by a. This is your compressive. Uh, this is the tensile stress, and the load is p by a. And by torsion load, we mean that a torque is acting on the beam. Twisting movement is acting on the beam. and by using the torsion equation shear stress will be equal to t upon j by r that is your simple stress is replaced by shear stress your load p is replaced by torque and area is replaced by polar moment of inertia upon radius and in case of bending whenever there is a bending in the shaft your stress is replaced by bending stress and your torque t is replaced by bending moment and your area is replaced by moment of inertia upon y y is the distance of the outer fiber from the neutral axis so we will design the shaft on the basis of these various load so first is we will design the shaft on the basis of torsion only so torsion is t torque is being applied to the shaft we will find how we will uh, calculate the diameter of the shaft now this theta is the angle of twist ab is a fiber which because of this torque distort to ab dash and phi is the shear strain l is the length of the shaft and theta is the angle of twist this is the radius d so we will calculate the value of d by using the torsion equation which is t by j twisting torque t j is the polar moment of inertia then shear stress then r is the radius this is our radius g is the your modulus of rigidity theta is the angle of twist in the shaft and l is the length of the beam so this is your torsion equation now we will design the shaft on the basis of your torsion by using your torsion equation so whenever we design the shaft on the basis of shear stress we will say that the shaft is designed on the basis of strength and the formula t by j equal to shear stress by r and if the shaft is solid shaft we will take j equal to pi d4 by 32 and we will take r equal to d by 2 so the r will be the radius at which there is a maximum shear stress the shear stress at the center will be zero and the maximum shear stress will be at the outer fiber so by substituting all these values in this equation we will get shear stress equal to 16t upon pi d cube so that is the value of your shear stress whenever the shaft is your solid shaft now in case of your hollow shaft you replace j as your pi d4 minus d4 upon 32 and r is equal to your d by 2 this is the hollow shaft where small d is your inner diameter and capital d is your outer diameter so by substituting all these values in this equation you will get by rearranging d4 yahan se bahar nikal liya 
this will be the value and the answer will be like this 16t upon pi d q 1 minus k 4 where k is the inner dia ratio to the outer dia ratio and if inner dia is not given to you it is taken as 0.5d so this is the equation that is difference between these equation two equation is that whenever we design the shaft on the basis of strength shear stress is 16t upon pi d cube if it is a hollow shaft denominator mein aajayega 1 by k4 where k is the outer dia by inner dia ratio the next is design of the shaft on the basis of rigidity rigidity we mean on the basis of your angle of twist so formula theta equal to tl by gj by using your torsion equation now out of these two shaft we will say the hollow shaft has more strength and stiffness than the hollow uh, than the solid shaft of the same material so next is the design of the shaft which is subjected to your bending bending only jaha shaft mein simply bending ho rahi hai we will be using your bending equation to solve the formula the bending equation is m by i bending movement upon i is the movement of inertia sigma b upon y this is the bending stress upon y is the distance of the outer fiber from the neutral axis e by r e is the young's model of elasticity and r is your radius of curvature so by using the bending equation now we will try to calculate your how to find the diameter of the shaft again in case of your solid shaft we will say moment of inertia will be pi d 4 by 64 and y the distance of the outer fiber from the center will be d by 2 by substituting these values in this equation we will get the bending stress 32 m by pi d cube that is in case of your torque the formula was 16 t by pi d cube and in case of your bending the formula will be 32 m by pi d cube that is replace t by m 16 by 32 and shear stress because in case of torque there will be shear stress in case of bending movement there will be bending stress similarly for hollow shaft this is the value of i pi d4 minus d4 by 64 and y will be d by 2 by substituting the values in this equation we again get the formula to be 32 m by pi d cube 1 minus k4 and if we compare this formula by the shear stress this will come out to be same 16 t upon pi d cube 1 minus k4 if designed on the base of torsion and in case of bending 16 ki jaga aapka 32 a jayega t ki jaga aapka m a jayega whereas the formula will remain same so next is design of the shaft on the base of torsion and bending ke shaft pe torsion bhi ho rahi hai bending bhi ho rahi hai agar torsion hogi there will be your shear stress agar bending hogi there will be your bending stress so this will be a two dimensional stresses and in case of two dimensional stresses graphically the solution is by using more circle and mathematically we will use your theories of failure the first theory of failure here maximum shear stress theory or gas theory this theory of failure is generally used for your ductile material if the material is ductile you will use a maximum shear stress theory according to this theory whenever there is a shear stress and bending in the beam the maximum shear stress in the shaft will be 1 by 2 under root of sigma b square plus 4 tau square substitute sigma b in case of solid shaft as 32 m by pi d cube and shear stress as your 16 t by pi d cube so by substituting these two values in this equation like this for solid shaft 32 square it will come out 32 ye 16 ho jayega yahan se then pi d cube square pi d cube square ye bhi bahar a jayega pi d cube ho jayega then isko 4 ko andar le aaye to 4 2 square ye bhi 32 ho jayega 32 32 common ye bahar a gaya to formula will be 16 under root of m square plus t square upon pi d cube if the solid shaft is subjected to both bending and torque under root m square plus t square if this is taken as t equivalent in case of your maximum shear stress theory the formula will be 16 t equivalent by pi d cube and compare this with only your simple torsion formula so in this case whenever there is a combined stresses we will take it to be 16 t equivalent upon your 
pi d cube and t equivalent will be equal to your under root of m square plus t square so in but in case of hollow shaft again by substituting this value for hollow shaft 32 m by pi d cube 1 minus k4 16 t upon pi d cube 1 minus k4 is all bahar a jayega again the formula will be same solid or hollow shaft mein ek hi difference aata formula mein denominator mein 1 minus k4 aata hai where k is the inner dia upon outer dia ratio so this is 16 t equivalent cube upon pi d cube into 1 minus k4 so this is the formula for your hollow shaft clear next next your uh, theory of failure is your maximum normal stress theory or rankine theory this theory generally used for brittle material like your cast iron now in this case the maximum normal stress in the shaft will be maximum normal stress will be 1 by 2 sigma b plus 1 by 2 under root sigma b square plus 4 tau square in case of solid shaft put sigma b as your 32 m by pi d cube put shear stress as 16 t by pi d cube and by rearranging this is the formula 32 upon pi d cube 1 by 2 m plus under root m square plus t square that is if we take this value to be m equivalent so the maximum bending stress will be 32 m equivalent by pi d cube that is in case of bending only it was coming out to be your 32 m by pi d cube and in case of both torque and bending we will write down here your m equivalent and m equivalent is equal to your 1 by 2 bracket m plus under root m square plus t square and in case of hollow shaft denominator mein aapka jayega 1 minus k4 that is 32 m equivalent 1 pi d cube 1 minus k4 so these are the various formulas to calculate your diameter of a shaft by using your various formulas that is if it is if there is only your torsion these two formulas pi d cube shear stress 16 t upon pi d cube then hollow 16 t upon pi d cube 1 minus k4 if there is only bending solid shaft 32 m by pi d cube hollow 32 m upon pi d cube 1 minus k4 and in case of both torsion and bending the formula will be 16 shear stress 16 under root m square plus t square upon pi d cube or bracket uh, denominator may 1 minus k4 if we design on the basis of maximum shear stress theory and if we design on the basis of maximum normal stress theory this will be 32 upon pi d cube m equivalent will be 1 by 2 bracket may m plus under root m square plus t square and in case of hollow shaft in denominator it will come out to be 1 minus k4 so these are the formulas to calculate or to design a shaft i will take a very simple numerical here a shaft transmit 100 kilowatt at 200 rpm the allowable shear stress of the shaft is 16 newton per mm square find the suitable diameter of the shaft now in this case you have to find the diameter of the shaft allowable shear stress is given to you whenever allowable shear stress is given to you we will design on the basis of strength the shaft has a twist of one degree angle is also given to you so we will design on the basis of your rigidity also so we will get the two diameter and the bigger diameter is the answer now power is given to you p 100 kilowatt then rpm is given to you if power and rpm is given to you we will be able to find the value of torque by using the formula power equal to 2 pi nt by 60 yahan se aapka power watt mein change kar diya yahan par n aa gaya solve kiya yahan se aapki torque aa gayi aapki 4774.65 newton meter so in this question there is only your power and rpm and only torque so we will design the shaft only on the basis of torsion so first of all by taking shear stress we will say we will design the shaft on the basis of strength for the solid shaft it is 16 t by pi d cube substitute the value shear stress is given to you that is 16 newton per mm square take all the values in newton and mm therefore change the torque t मीटर में है ये न्यूटन मीटर में है इसको मिलीमीटर में इनटू 1000 कर दिया यहां से आपका आ गया 108.38 एमएम दिस इज द डायमीटर ऑफ द शाफ्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ दे ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रिजिडिटी द फार्मूला थीटा इक्वल टू टी एल बाय जी जे नो इन दिस केस 
your theta is angle of twist is your 1 degree that is if there is 180 degree twist if there is 180 degree twist we have to always take theta in radian it will be equal to pi radian and for 1 degree twist this will be equal to pi by 180 if any angle theta is given to you 20 degree 30 degree simply multiply that by 180 pi by 180 you will be able to find angle in your radian so here you have 1 degree hai, to pi by 180 is the theta t torque again in millimeter length is given to you 3 meter millimeter g given to you j but by calculating this we will be able to find the value of j and what is the j for a solid shaft that is equal to pi d4 by 32 that is a polar moment of inertia moment of inertia about the z axis so here you have d ki value nikal 101 so out of 101 and 108 the maximum value is 108.38 so this is the answer and the standard values or multiple of 10 100 110 120 so the diameter of the shaft is taken as a bigger value that is 110 mm so i hope this numerical will clear you and in case there is a bending movement m is given to you formal will be sigma v 32 m by pi d cube hollow shaft 1 minus k for other denominator then if both torque and bending moment are given to you then we will use the maximum shear stress theory or we will use the maximum normal stress theory by using these two formulas for solid and hollow these two formulas for solid and hollow so this these are the various method to design the shaft thank you